we're out in public, same thing. All I'm gonna do is work on hand feeding her. So I'm just gonna work on hand feeding her so she knows that she can earn rewards outside in public and she's being exposed to all these other things, public place and a dog. So I'm just gonna move around, help her out, not working on not working on any commands at all. This is just for feeding. Good. She sees the dog over there too. And I'm just using the leash to make sure she doesn't go over to that dog or eat random stuff off the ground. Good. So she's a puppy, obviously she's gonna be distracted, but we're gonna do our best just making sure that she eats while she's outside. So as you can tell, she's very distracted, so I'm going to be very fast paced and I'm going to be dancing around just to make sure I use movement to help her out. Good. 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 I want to let her know that everything else is not important and this is just an activity between me and her even though there's people, dogs, lots of stuff moving around. And same thing as the backyard, I'm only saying G O O D to her, nothing else. She's only five months old, so I don't know how much exposure the previous owner did with her, but probably not a lot. So her going for stuff on the ground, very normal for a puppy. I'm just preventing with the leash. So she's gonna pull a little bit, but this is the puppy, can't do anything about it. People and dogs that ignore your puppy, the more calm they're gonna be around them because they're not gonna expect anything from them, whether that's a good thing like overexcitement or a bad thing of them getting attacked or whatever. Good. I just want them to know that all people, dogs, and the environment is just background noise to them. So we set her up for success for later where she's not pulling or getting either overexcited with those type of things or being scared of them. I just want them and her to know that these things are nothing. So she was super scared of people when we first got her. So it's actually really good that she sees all these people walking by so she doesn't think of them as a big deal.
food is what you make it. Some people, uh, there's nothing wrong with bull feeding your dog, but if you want to get more reps and also to make your food more valuable and you do it like this, the dog is going to value it more and it's going to become something else instead of just food in a bowl. Yeah, good. And this doesn't take long. This takes like five minutes to hand feed your dog and to make it an activity with them. Good. Right now it looks super boring because we're doing very basic stuff, but later you could be working on walking, stays, whatever you want with your food. And once your dog builds a routine of accepting food from you from different places, their attention is going to be a lot better and the distractions become less valuable. A lot of people ask, oh, how do I get my dog to ignore distractions if they're ignoring the food or toys when they're outside? So if you don't build that up while you're at home first, then of course they're going to choose the distraction over the food or toy because there's no value to it. So right now, I'm showing her that food is valuable at home and out here. Good. So she just saw a stroller go by. Some dogs get weird about wheeled things. So it's good that she saw it go by. She's chill. She knows that we're just feeding out here. These things are not gonna freak her out. It's good. And since right now she's pretty like, she's much calmer than earlier and she's accepting the food. I'm gonna add in a little bit of luring, but same thing, no commands. I'm just gonna move her around, have her follow the food. Since she's staying here, I'm gonna introduce our release word. Oh. And all I want her to do is know that this next B word that I'm gonna say is come get the food from me instead of me just handing it to you in place. So I'm gonna wait for her to look up again. Break. So next eye contact, I'm gonna say that same word, but I'm gonna add movement to it. Break. So G-O-O-D is handing you food in place and the B word is going to be run up to me to get the food. Good. Break. Good. Good. And try not to keep your hands in your pockets because then the dog is always going to look at your hand and pocket. I'm going to be very neutral with my position. Once she looks up, then I'm going to say the word, then I'm going to pull the food. Good. Good. So that's a very simple outside exposure session. All I'm doing is just hand feeding outside. Good.